Hello, this is the bird's widget. This is what it could look like for you after a session of using the birds. Uh, you see I got a bunch of birds sleeping and dancing on top of the webcam. I got a nest building on the bottom of my webcam and on the bottom of the screen we got some birds hanging out. This is another example. Uh, so you can see this one has less less birds dancing and sleeping and more nests. So I have one nest fully built and then I got a nest that's halfway done. Let's say you've had enough of these birds for now. There's too many on the screen and you want to get rid of them. So I'm going to use the command. It's set to shoo. So S-H-O-O. -O. So I use that command in chat and this is what happens. There we go. Pig comes up, scares them all away, and then you can get right back to it. So let's do command birds. And we're right back to it. Alright, but let me I'm gonna go show you the customizations you can do before we get into uh, before I get into fully explaining it um, okay so the command that's up to you the default is birds the shoe command is exclamation point shoe and like you just saw it'll move all the birds away uh, you can choose so the who can play this is who can use the birds so can be anybody subscribers mods just the broadcaster you can choose that um, who can shoo so who can clear the screen right now I have it set to just me uh, you could set it to the same it might be kind of chaos if you let anybody do it so I have it set to um, just me but okay so you saw it, it was interacting with my webcam and the way it was doing that so I have turn off webcam border we want it to be we want to be able to see it while we're setting it All right. so now we have a red outline around our webcam and uh, okay so I'm gonna use this one as an example so it doesn't really have to be a webcam if you don't want it to be uh, it can be anything so it's gonna use the uh, the top line and the bottom line so here in the customization I have webcam width uh, webcam height webcam position X and webcam position Y and if you see so let's you can see that there uh, I'm moving around the webcam and this is what this is what tells the the system where to place the birds so yeah obviously like I said it could be your webcam or it could be your gameplay cam maybe you don't have a webcam so I'm actually gonna set it up for this one so I'm gonna set it up so that this box goes around the birds and to make it update so let's say I move I move the webcam up and then I go back I look at my uh, my overlay in OBS and it's not updated so we have to click save we gotta hit save for it to update here there we go all right so I'm just gonna all I'm doing is playing with these numbers and then saving refreshing and we're gonna line it up with this here so let's get the width way up all right so you can see I just changed all these values it changed the webcam it looks to be in a good spot so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna say turn off webcam border so we're gonna turn off the border because I don't want to see the red anymore 
and I'm gonna click save. All right, we're gonna go back to our scene, in which obviously I have the I have the widget as an overlay in this scene, full screen, 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna use the command birds, and I'll kind of explain what's going on with the widget because it's it's pretty complex. All right, there we go. All right, so this is a what I call a looping animation. So it's random. It randomly selects between a looping animation, a nest animation, and just a, a common animation. So for the looping ones, you either get a bird that sits there and sleeps, or one that kind of bobs his head back and forth. So that was a looping animation. Let's do another one. And this is just a common animation. So it kind of, it just, he flies by the screen and that's it. There's no loop, there's no nest. It's just a, uh, a little flyby. Again. Same deal, just a common animation, he goes away. Oh, and by the way, the colors. So the yellow is the most common. Um, there's seven different colors. You're most likely going to get yellow, but yeah, it goes all the way. I think the, the bright blue is the most rare. I think it's like 3% of the time. So if you see a bright blue, if you see a bright blue bird, it's, that's a rare one. All right. Guy. All right, he's just flying off screen, so that's another common animation. Okay, this is a nest animation. So we have three more to go to build a full nest. And if you look, so I have this running still in my browser, and you can see the difference. Like I said, it's random. So on this one, we've got this so far. But on this one, we've already got three nests, so we're only one away from building a full nest. Again, birds. I think this guy, I think he's just gonna walk on by. Yep. Common animation. Same idea. Ah, and you'll see, uh, so in our other one, we got a full nest. And these are two little uh, baby birds sleeping in the nest. All right, let's try another one. And, oh, he's going away. So that's just a common animation. I'd like to get more nests so I can show you how the nests work. Um, but basically, if you build a nest, so if you get four, four eggs, four builds, then it randomly chooses between three nests. So one of the nests might be uh, these baby birds here. There's another one where the birds uh, want to be fed so they got their mouths open they're kind of bobbing their heads back and forth and there's another nest that just has a, a feather and some seeds in it so kind of an empty nest all right and I'll just do one more after this and then I'll shoo them away so you can see it again 
Oh, it was a purple one. That guy's pretty rare. A shoe now. So let's clear these birds. You can see the command there. Alright, and they fly away. So those birds were pretty big. I have them, you can choose the size. So I have them right here, I have them on extra large. I think it, it's too big, I just wanted to have it like that for demonstration purposes, but I think small is good. So if we go back to this one, so now my webcam's there, so they're gonna go there. So let's imagine I, let's just imagine I put it back. And you can see the size of the small birds. All right, so much smaller. <laughs> All right. And there's an even smaller version too. There's an extra small, so up to you. Well, you can see it here. You can see how tiny they are here. And I think that's about it. If you have any questions or you see a bug, something's not working correctly, let me know. It's very complex. It's almost like a little game. So I did as much testing as I could. It works great, but I'll never know for sure until it's out in the wild. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know. Thank you.